Hey guys, and welcome back to another day of the 12 days of Christmas. I hope you are enjoying the series so far. This is actually the first video that I'm filming in this series. I don't know what order I'm posting these videos as usual. I just kind of film them in a random order and then I decide when I'm gonna post them during the editing process. So I don't actually know when this one's going up, but today is going to be my apartment tour. I wanted to get it done before I put up my Christmas decorations, which is why I'm filming it first. So I'm just gonna show you guys my apartment. It's not probably the best apartment tour uh, that you'll see on YouTube. I have been living in this place for about four years now, so I'm pretty comfortable in it. There's a couple of things that I still need to fix in my apartment, like a broken closet door, which is like exposing all the inside of my closet, which kind of sucks, but yeah. I really love my place and I hope you guys enjoy the tour and I also hope you enjoy the rest of the 12 days of Christmas. So thank you guys as always for watching. This is actually a crocheted sweater that I made for myself. It's super bulky, like it's huge, but I wanted something really cozy that I could wear in winter time that I could layer underneath with chunky sweaters as well. So it's like super chunky, but I did it in like Christmas. Colors. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna start by giving you guys the tour from my door and kind of walk you through my apartment. So basically this is the front entrance. This is really messy right now because I have like all this hand sanitizer, masks, a pure later package that I need to pick up, some receipts, but this is the front entrance and I just have some decor up there. It's kind of where I store stuff for now. It's not really the cleanest area of my house and it's also the first thing that people see so that kind of sucks. So you get two choices. You either walk through this little entryway which would go into the kitchen or you take a right and you walk into the living room space. So I think I will walk you guys through the kitchen first. That's actually a sliding door but I usually have it opened because sometimes I have it closed. In summer I did. I don't know why. So my kitchen's a little bit messy right now. We've got a lot of stuff. We got a microwave, um, some dishes that are drying there. I should have cleaned that before. Um, I only have one sink, which is too bad. And those are like all my cooking, my spices, everything, some fruits, some bananas that are not looking too great. I probably need to eat them. My favorite spot, which is my coffee machine. Love my coffee machine. And this is the dining room area. So I have a pretty high dining room table. It kind of fits perfectly in this space though and you've got some really nice big windows and Christmas lights hanging up there. This is also my piano which I love. It's closed right now but I do have my piano. Got lots of books on the ground. I need like a shelf or something to put the piano books up and these are like my favorite shelves in the house. They're kind of like these geometric ones I found at HomeSense one day and yeah beautiful poinsettias. I love poinsettias, especially red ones, and some books, green onions, rosemary, Google Home, another plant. So then if I have the dining room table behind me, this is kind of the living room space. By the way, that closet right there is supposed to have a door and it's so ugly. I wish I had fixed it. It broke at the very beginning of COVID like two years ago now and I haven't fixed it. So it's so disgusting. I hate it. We have my bookshelf here with some plants around it. It's kind of like a little nook where I like to read. We have an unfinished puzzle. We have knitting and crocheting supplies everywhere. I have these beautiful plaques that my elementary school friend actually made. She has this little shop on Instagram, which is really cute. They're crooked because I suck at putting up stuff. My country, my favorite place in the world, and my province. I've got that gross area underneath my table that I hate. I hate how messy it looks under there, but I basically have my little coffee table and this is where a bunch of plants are stored for now and also my oh a broken lovely broken bulb they're all dying on me and my tv and a bunch of wool underneath my tv that's what i store under there i just installed these shelves actually while my brother-in-law helped and my friend gave me that little Grogu. I love it and I really like these shelves as well. This plant is growing like super long. Yeah, that is the living room space. I'll give you guys a little bit of 
a different angle maybe so you can see it, but it's pretty comfortable, I guess. It's not super neat. I'm kind of a little bit messy. I just have a lot of stuff and mostly I have plants, so that clearly doesn't help make things look tidy. Then if you face here, this is where I've been working from home lately. So this is kind of my like setup. I was just working there this afternoon and a bookshelf, a very crooked plant sewing machine, uh, a painting. Yeah, it's kind of messy as well. Oh my God, my place is so messy. I should have cleaned this before. Oh, and I installed that shelf this year as well because I needed a space for some more books. I actually need to organize my books. They're kind of all over the place right now. I have them everywhere. And there's two little stuffies up there because this little dog found my stuffies. They were in my bedroom and she grabbed them and so I had to put them up high so she couldn't have, she couldn't, you know, chew on them. So anyway, that is the workspace area. I just got a ring light for my laptop, which has helped with video calls because before I was always backlit because of the window being behind me. Not sure how much of the bathroom you guys need to see. It's not exactly exciting. It's probably one of my least favorite places in the house, honestly. It's very old looking. This place is old. It's like 1970s. So now we are going into my bedroom, which is one of my favorite places in my apartment. This is my super tall bed. Everybody comments on how high my bed is, um, but that's what you guys usually see in the background of my videos. Where I store my camera and ring light because I have nowhere to put it. Um, but this is what the bedroom kind of looks like. I've got some shelves up there, some string lights a lot of pillows like i have a ton of pillows probably too many and then what you guys will see in the background of my videos if it's not my bed you're going to see my desk which is right here and that's where i film and it's also where i get ready really nice beautiful big window which is nice to have because it brings in a lot of light and then i have this little cabinet oh my cousin actually painted that she's a really great artist so she painted that for me um well not for me but she gave it to me after she painted it and then I have this little thing here where I just hang up some outfits so that I don't have to stress about what I'm going to wear in the morning and then also I have like a ton of mirrors my whole place is mirrors basically and that's it that's the bedroom that is pretty much basically it that is my home hope you guys enjoyed this tour and Peace.